would you do if your father threatened to take away the money he's gonna give you if you don't protect them tonight? I'm in Salad and I saw The Inheritance. It is directed by Alexandro Bruges, written by Chris Lamont and also Joe Russo. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. The premise of this is pretty simple. We got a man, he has a bunch of money, and he's 75 tonight. Well, I guess today is his birthday eve. He's 74.9999. That's his age at the moment. Midnight, he turns 75. And he's telling his children, hey, I've called you here because I need y'all to protect me. Make sure that at midnight, I don't die, right? All that fun jazz. Well, we got five people there. The five people, there's four siblings, and then there's this woman who's also there. Dates one of the siblings. I like how the dad's like, hey, can you not be here? And I'm like, okay, clearly this man is planning something. So pretty much right off the bat, I'm starting to guess what the ending of this movie could be. It's kind of predictable, honestly. At some point, I guessed, okay, I noticed that these people, whoever these people are in the house that are not the siblings, they're some sort of supernatural thing going on. These have to be demons or something. He must have summoned something. And why are they only killing his offspring? This man's offspring. Hmm, he must have had some sort of deal with the devil. So I'm thinking this the entire time. I'm okay, okay that's the end. It's all right for me to guess the end as long as there's really good character growth. I like characters. Even if a movie's predictable, freaking Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo's predictable as heck, but I like the characters, which is why I continue watching Scooby-Doo. You know, it's that same logic. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna give this a chance, right? So, there has been some character traits established within the siblings. Two of them decided to work for the father, going all corporate, and these are the twins. And then we got two other people. One of them just kind of doesn't really work for the family. But I guess both of them don't really work for the family. So there's, there's some sibling rivalry stuff happening already. Like, oh, I deserve to be getting more of the inheritance because I worked for my father. You know, logic like that. But ultimately, everybody's inheritance is up on the line if they don't save the father by midnight. But I have some questions like, how would a lawyer be able to determine... Oop, I did not mean to open that. Oh, luckily it's starting to rain. How convenient. Anyway, a lawyer, I feel like, wouldn't be able to understand the timeline. I think he would just see that the father's dead and then the siblings are not and be like, okay, well, you didn't save him. But the the conditions were that he had to be saved before midnight touched and he had to be alive to see his 75th birthday. But then the kids could have murdered the dad, hypothetically, could have murdered the dad at like 1 a.m. So the kids should still get the inheritance, but the lawyer wouldn't be able to understand the timeline like that. So having the will written like this, I, uh, there's a bunch of flaws in logic there that I'm seeing, but I'm like, okay, whatever, who cares? It's a horror movie. Of course, they're creeping through this really creepy big house with too many dark hallways. So many dark hallways. And one by one, they start getting off. The one chick, okay, here's the siblings. We got the two corporate and then the guy with the girlfriend that's here and the one chick who I'm dressed up as, her name's Maggie. She's a social media influencer. So there we go. We figured out professions of everybody. So she's like, I'm gonna do social media influencing stuff. Hey guys, right here at this house. Also, I better record a video of me doing a merch line ad for this new swim sw uh, swimsuit wear that I'm advertising. And I'm like, okay, why would you record this next to the pool? Okay, so you're just doing it alone next to the pool? Even more sus. I mean, if you're... 
it's just so sus to record next to a pool. And it's hypocritical for me to say this because I do, I do this. I, I record my phone next to a pool or a body surface of water, but I'm very cautious. I'm like, this is sketchy as heck. I better be careful. You know, whenever I do that, uh, you can find those photos on autisticboobs.com. Anyway, but she's like, oh, I'm all like just dragging my phone above the water surface, just using my phone while I dunk my feet in the pool. And I'm like, huh. I wouldn't use my phone near a surface of water unless it was on some sort of selfie stick and it was really low so the center of gravity was low but nope she's the first kill because she's been established clearly as the first kill because she's been established as an alcoholic who goes down into creepy services to grab alcohol but it's all creepy and there's obviously something there and she does that alone and wow she's dead and she drowned and she has a gas just like i do look but this is makeup. Her gash is real. So anyway, this, uh, this movie, one by one, takes out the characters. You know, it might be cool to find a character to like in this. And I'm like, okay, so the girlfriend that is not the siblings, she might be cool. She's loyal to the family. She's showing her loyalty. The father is like, oh, you've been loyal to us. And the first murder that happens, I call it a murder because she got dragged to the water. The first time it happens, she's like, okay, we gotta escape. <laughs> we gotta escape. And I'm like, bro, you just, your character is now ruined. Because you were established that you had loyalty. And now you betrayed that tr character trait. That was, that was the only reason to have you around. And... Because of this, all emotional impact later on in the movie is ruined. It could have been more of an emotional impact that the father was making them all get eaten by demons. <laughs> They're sacrificed by de two demons so he can stay alive forever. That would be more of an emotional scene, more hard hidden stuff. If she was loyal the entire time, then she could feel betrayed. But since she was already so eager to betray him, seeing him betray her at the end, I was like, well, that sucks. I don't care, really. Like, I already know she doesn't care, ultimately. And she just wants to escape. But she really should have been the character to just be so adamant about protecting him. And also, for a protection job, they all seem to like not being near him. And so, because they're not near him for the entirety of the movie, the ending is so easy to predict. Why are they not near him? Why is he not asking people to be near him? Why are they just allowed to roam? To hunt a demon or something? To find people to attack in case they break in? Just sit next to the guy the entire time. Boom, you gave your inheritance. The father ends up shooting the, 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 the boyfriend of this chick who betrayed him. Oh, I thought I killed all the last remaining heirs so I could stay alive. Nope, you did it. Guess what? Because I'm pregnant. That line was predictable too. Right from the setup was, I killed all my last remaining heirs. As soon as he said that, oh, this is not working. Well, because she's pregnant. It's easy, predictable stuff. Wow, it was predictable and easy to predict. Uh, would you want to watch this movie? I don't recommend it. I mean, it's whatever. There's nothing particularly fun about this movie other than what I told you about it. So, other than everything I explained about the movie, I do like the house. The house is cool and I like the architecture. Other than that, I'm gonna give this movie, it's a solid 4.8 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one of the platform really likes that. Go to this link tree, support the daily grindedness of all the daily movie reviews. Go to Patreon to request a movie review. So you can do that. And until next time, it sounds so. I'll see you later. My sound croutons bake bits. Oh no, there's a monster. Oh no, ah!